Buds, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Through my channel Busby Style, my goal and mission is to help women just like you who are busy juggling life look like you have your act together, even if you don't. Today I want to demystify boots and jeans, the combination. It is one of the most common questions I get. What boots do I wear with these jeans? Do I cuff them? How do I wear them? I get so confused. There are so many different types of jeans now. So I'm gonna walk you through it. We're gonna demystify it. I'm gonna show you what to do with each specific pair of jeans so you no longer have to wonder or worry. You'll just know. Let's just dive right in. <laughs> First thing I want to address is the traditional skinny jean. With the traditional skinny jean, you have a few options. I have done a whole video specifically about ankle boots with skinny jeans. I will link that below so you can go back and watch that if you'd like. I'm just gonna break it down really simply and really quickly for you right now. So basically, with the skinny jean, you can either tuck the skinny jean into the ankle boot, you can cuff the skinny jean once a big long cuff. You can do the double cuff, just two small cuffs. Or you can do kind of the J. Crew roll or the 80s roll where you pinch the side a little bit and then roll it up once or twice. Ideally what you want is for the jean itself to be just a hair above the top of the ankle boot. You have to kind of adjust based on the height of your boot and also the length of your jean. What you don't want is a lot of bunching or the jean kind of competing with the boot. You want them to be in harmony. <laughs> the next pair of jeans I want to talk about is the cropped jean. The cropped jean and the ankle boot are like a match made in heaven. They really go together like peas and carrots. So Crop jeans are really a no-brainer with an ankle boot. They're cropped, so the bottom of the jean or the hemline of the jean is typically not going to compete with the height of the boot. Now, what if you have a taller ankle boot? So here's an example of a taller ankle boot with a crop jean where the jean is conflicting with the top of the boot. All I would do is cuff the jean so that I then again have that harmony that we're looking for with the boot and the jean. The next pair of jeans I want to talk about is the split hem jean, where the jean at the bottom has a split in the front. This pair of jeans is wonderful for framing a beautiful pump, and I really do think these jeans are meant to be worn with pumps, but it's not realistic to wear pumps for most of us in the winter. So what I would do is either try it with a traditional ankle booty, and I think that looks great. The other option is a sock booty, and I've talked about sock booties before. I did a blog post about sock booties. I did them in my winter boots video. Sock booties are a new-ish trend, and they fit really tight to the ankle like a sock. They're more versatile than you think. So I do think that's a good investment if you haven't already gotten a pair. So the sock booty goes so nicely underneath that split hem jean, whether it's cropped or full length. This pair happens to be cropped. the split hem jean is the zipper bottom jean. It's the same concept as the split hem. So if you're going to do the regular more classic ankle booty, just play with the zip so that the zip ends at a spot where the jeans will kind of lay nicely or flat against the ankle boot. I think that's the best look. You can do the same exact jean with the sock booty and that will pair really nicely under that zipper jean. Again, just play with the zipper a little bit so that the jean at the bottom really falls nicely and kind of flat against the boot. The last pair of jeans I want to talk about is the kick flare. And the kick flare is basically a pair of jeans that's cropped. It's fitted through the thighs and legs, and then it flares out at the bottom. So this is another pair of jeans that really is meant for an ankle booty, but it also is perfect with a sock booty or a mid-calf booter booty. You can throw the taller boot, the mid-calf boot, or the booty, the sock booty, underneath the kick flare jean, and with the traditional ankle boot, you just leave it alone, and with the sock booty, you just wear it under the kick flare jean. 
I do think this style of jean is very popular right now, and I don't think this one is gonna go anywhere anytime soon. I think this kick flare is really cute. It's fun to play around with, and I think when you wear a sock booty with it, it does create a really nice long line because it keeps everything kind of monochromatic and all one color and a dark color. So anyway, I think it's a great look. If you have a taller boot, like a mid-calf boot or a moto boot that's a little bit taller than a traditional ankle booty, I would also wear those over the jeans versus trying to tuck those into a jean, whether it's skinny, whether it's cropped, whether it's straight, whether it's kick flare. The, uh, the moto or the mid calf is also going to look a lot better over the jean. One last boot I want to talk about is the over the knee boot or the knee high boot. The over the knee boot or the knee high boot is really meant to be worn over a pair of skinny jeans. It's not really gonna work under a kick flare or a crop jean because it's just gonna bunch up under the jean. So you really need to wear it over a pair of skinny jeans or leggings for the best look. I hope that helps you guys with your boot and jean dilemma. I think that's a good roadmap for you. If you have any questions at all, you know you can just comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, remember over on the blog, different content over there. You also can subscribe to the newsletter, get two free wardrobe basics checklists and a lookbook with styling and beauty tips. So I hope you will subscribe to the newsletter. And I'm over on Instagram at Busby Styled there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.